What's up Ace family and welcome to another top 10 video. This time it's only a top 5 video though. I am trying something new in this video, so let me know if you like this more than my other videos. Skyrim is filled with your everyday one of the mill quests, like dungeon diving, collect this, take that and go find that. Rarely you find a quest that really gets us excited. We are going to dive into the quests that will make you start a new game in Skyrim. These quests have to be unique and fun to get to this list. Sit back, grab some adult juice and enjoy the video. At number 5 we have House of Horrors. Oh, whoa. There's a cabin in the woods. We need to go hide over there. Nah, man, I'm not going in there. It reminds me of a horror movie I once saw. If you played Skyrim as a teenager, this quest would have had you sleepless for a few nights. When entering Marketh you will be greeted by a Vigilant of Stender. Vigilant Tyrannus will ask you to accompany him inside a house, where he thinks the people of Skyrim are worshipping Daedra. As a Vigilant of Stender, Tyrannus has to stop the worship of Daedra in Skyrim. Tyrannus will promise you coin if you would watch his back when inside the house, everything will look fine when entering the house, but with further investigation a deep voice will greet you and things will start flying. It will be at this point that you will realize that the house is not used by Daedra worshippers, but instead be possessed by a Daedra. The Lord of Soul Harvesting, Malag Bal, has taken over the house and you are stuck inside. Fear is the only reaction to have at this moment. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Malag Bal will command that you and Tyrannus battle it out, refusing to let either go until someone is dead. If you refuse to kill him, Tyrannus will crack under the pressure and start attacking you. Out of self-defense you will have to kill Tyrannus. Once you are victorious, Malag Bal will command you to come down to his shrine in the basement to claim your prize, and as we all know basements are a bad place to be. Once you get to his shrine you will be trapped in some sort of cage-like structure. Do not go in there! Woo! After this point the quest nosedives into an average quest where you will have to find a priest that has been desecrating his shrines. The priest will spawn in a random cave already bound. Tell the priest to go to the house, and kill him in front of Malag Bal with his mace. That is it. Terrible ending to a great quest. The best part of the quest is the unique mace that you get at the end of the quest. Number 4 goes to Bound Until Death. Bound Until Death is one of the Dark Brotherhood quests. In this quest you will have to assassinate Victoria Vici. During the whole game she is known for being a kind and good person. Now killing her already feels like a bad thing to do. Victoria Vici is a East Empire official and cousin of the Emperor. There are two reasons for the assassination. One being that her soon-to-be husband Askir is a member and strong supporter of the Stormcloaks. This being a clear conflict of interest. Victoria being a big influence in the Imperial side. Most of Skyrim saw this as an opportunity for peace between the two factions, others seeing this as a bad thing. Other way I personally feel bad for Victoria as it is clear that this marriage is out of love for each other. The second part is that the Dark Brotherhood wants the Emperor to come to Skyrim to pay his respect to his late cousin. In this they will have an opportunity to kill the Emperor in the greatest assassination in history, putting the Dark Brotherhood back on the map. During the quest you will have three ways of killing Victoria. The first way is out of a novel, dropping a gargoyle on her head. The second using a bow left by the Dark Brotherhood and the third being pure brute force. After killing Victoria you will have to leave solitude in a hurry, as the whole city wants you dead. If you decide to stay and fight one of the members, Fezara, will come and help you escape solitude. Before we hit that top three positions, if you are enjoying the content, why not hit the like and subscribe button? Content like this takes me forever to make. A like and subscribe will mean the world to me and helps with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, let's get back to the video. In third place we have Diplomatic Immunity. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. Diplomatic Immunity is one of the quests that are done in the main quest line. Delphine will ask you to infiltrate the Thalmer embassy and see what they have to do with the whole return of the dragons in Skyrim. Obviously Delphine's racist intentions returns no fruit and we find out they know the same. 
What I really enjoy about this quest is, it feels like you are some international spy that needs to hide in plain sight and have people on the inside who will help you on your way to your goal. At the start you need to give everything that you need to your inside informant. Once inside you will need to create a distraction to slip away from the party to find out what the Thalmer knows. These distractions include bribing someone or even asking some of the other NPCs that you have previously interacted with to help you with your plans. Melbourne will then help you get everything that you needed to start your investigation. If you are of human race you have a good chance of not getting caught, but if you are of high elven race then you are in a good position to not get caught at all. You will need to work or fight your way through a courtyard. At some point you will come across all the sensitive documents of the Thalmer. In this we learn that they are just as scared about the whole return of the dragon situation as the rest of Skyrim are. While escaping the embassy in a dungeon, two elven soldiers will bring out now captured Melbourne. If we work quickly we can save Melbourne and escape with him. If you have saved Melbourne, he will hide in Windhelm. If you talk to him, he will give you a special quest that few people know about. Second place goes to rise in the east. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Rise in the east is a side quest that few people really knew about. To start the quest you will need to enter the East Empire Company warehouse in Windhelm. They are responsible for most of the deliveries in Tamriel. Inside you will talk to a guy named Orthus and Dario. Orthus and Dario will tell you about how some of their goods are getting stolen by some pirates, and he wants you to help get rid of them. Orthus will ask you to interrogate one of the pirate gang members in Dawnstar called Stigzel Plank. You will either need to bribe or intimidate him for information. He will reveal to you that their hideaway is on an island called Jaffet's Valley. You will return to Orthus with this information. Upon entering the East Empire Company Orthus will be waiting for you with Adelaisha Vendici. You will be joined with some East Empire Company mercenaries. You will hop on a boat and travel to the island. When you and the group get to the island, the island will be surrounded by a tense fog. Adelaisha thinks that the fog is the work of a strong sorcerer and that you will need to kill him for the mercenaries to be able to storm the beach. Once killing the sorcerer, an action scene will play showing the mercenaries storming the castle. This is definitely a quest that is different from the rest, in the sense of it plays off in a place other than the normal Skyrim. First place goes to In My Time of Need. Help me! Help me! During your time in Skyrim you will come across two Alakir warriors questioning some woman. When asking the Alakir about this encounter, they will tell you that they are looking for a Red Guard woman who sold out Hammerfall to the Aldermere Dominion. They will then ask you to let them know if you find any information regarding this woman. They want to take her back to her country to be trialed for her crimes. They do not have any information regarding her exact whereabouts, but they suspect she might be around White Run. In White Run, there is only one Red Guard woman, and her name is Sadia. She can be found in the Bannered Mare. When confronting Sadia, she will tell you that they are falsely accusing her. She will then beg you to help her, and that they aren't really who they say they are. She tells you that those Alakir warriors are assassins sent by the Aldemir Dominion to kill her. Sadia will give you the location of these warriors and ask you to kill them, so they would stop bothering her. At this point you have one of two options, either side with Sadia or turn her in. I always side with the Alakir as all the evidence proves that Sadia is not who she says she is. When turning her into the Alakir, they will stun her and take her away exactly as promised. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did why not check out these other videos, you might like them too, thank you for watching, see you in the next one, cheers.